I keep finding new areas. Oh, I just looked at my XP and went like, I should upgrade my spells a bit and... Oh, first of all, what's this music? Say what you like about the game, just some great music. Um, what I was gonna say is, I was like, I wanna go level up, but... Jesus, I have to go and heal everyone. Because everyone is feeling fatigued and headached and... And headached and headached. And oh my god, the fatigue, 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 fatigue. I'm gonna need a list of things. We just have to do this before we can go sleep. Did they just do exactly this? Hello? Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. You might notice that no one actually told him what time it was. I, I can't... Ha! <sighs> I cannot be now, asked. Today. I'm. They seem all right. They seem kind of interesting, but I cannot be asked in going into asking about every new person's long backstory. I I would like to know, I guess, but it just feels so unnatural. Here's a dude on the street. Let's walk up to him and ask him about every single backstory bit he has. There's too many characters sort of sitting around, and then I walk up there and, like, start interrogating them and... ...hear their entire life story. Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are, and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. And I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? Ah. I work for the Ascalon Club. Here is my permit to go freely about the city. The Ascalon Club? You should have said so, sir. I must warn you, these streets are dangerous. And you'd better be careful. I'll do that. What are you investigating? Exactly. I have a missing woman, possibly abducted a few nights ago, Louise Teasdale. I can't believe we are still waiting. It seems you already I found my other missing person, Mr. Tadao Kimura. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. I found she Louise. Waitress. Her father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she? No, but I found no. her. But I feel she has been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago and vanished. I thought about the sewers, but I'm not equipped for such an investigation. I... Uh, <sighs> Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. In the middle of that conversation, we all of a sudden had the brothers shout at me as well. Ah, this game, man. This game is, is, is so uneven. It's got its ups and downs. Sometimes it just nails the atmosphere and feels really good, and... And sometimes it's like, let's go over there and interrogate and talk, and it's like a hideout, hideout. See, I'd like to go here and like and then level up and stuff, but everyone is sick, and I feel like I have to go do the busy work of dealing with them before I can sleep, before I can level up. But I mean, at least I can probably make some treatments. We need shitloads of fatigue. And a lot of headache as well. And a lot of cold as well. Let's double check exactly what we needed. I, I, don't worry, I, I saw that there was stuff to check. Okay, 
Uh, do we need to start keeping track of this? Alright, for Pembroke, uh, docks, I mean, they're basically done with. We need one... Two, three, four. Four fatigue. That's not too bad. And one, two, three. This guy's gonna die. <laughs> He's gonna die from the sickness. But he won't let me in. Four headache. How many cold? One, two, three, four. Four of each. Okay. Let's analyze this. Let's analyze that. Still haven't got that entire level. Okay, we have enough of every one of them. Boom. We do have the treatment for neuralgia, but I just spent all my ergamatine. Plus, we have two of them already, so... But he won't let me in and talk to him. I've never... i never really used these. They're two out of two, so I, I can't make any more anyway, I think. I'll save him, honestly. Oh, man. Well, uh, hopefully I won't find myself in a position where I have to, have to, have to, have to level up. So, this is a new little area over here, just beyond the West End. Will there be doors and stuff I can up so open up so I can go back to the original area? Hello. Could use some blood, friend. That's probably a wasted heal. So there is actually a quest to ask people about Aloysia, so I guess we are supposed to do that. I have so many strange, uh, conflicting opinions about this game, honestly. Hey, where are we now? Oh shit, we're already in Whitechapel. That saves us some time. So we can just kind of go back around. I'm wrecking everything that isn't, like, level 30 now. So that's good. That reminds me, I haven't upgraded any of my stuff yet. There is. You have a cold, friend. Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Dr. E. If, if only... I got something from healing them. Do you need a hand? Well, I think read rug. That Yeah, there we go. So 
apparently, Xiao Shun, I need to literally go there and talk to her. So I need to go back to the. Were you sick? Yeah, you are. Me. Hello, hello, hello. Since I. Your medicine. Healthy, healthy, good. I need to, I need to work my wall around back to the graveyard, I guess. And ideally, found find her husband, the blind one. The whole quest there I haven't done. This guy's dead. But I also don't want to spend too much time just running around here, because this isn't where the actual game is. This is just busy work. Healthy, healthy, healthy. You're healthy too, right? Wish you weren't, but you are. Fatigue for Christina. Good evening, Christina. Shane. Do you need it? I for good enjoy. There's not even any new dialogue. See, that's, that's the part that annoys me the most. Is is it over here? I think this will do. Hello, are you sick? Yes, fatigue. Do you know? Enjoy. Good. I wish I at least got more experience from it. Twenty-five per doesn't seem like a lot. But with the dogs being what they are, as much people having died. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to walk through the old road. Mine now. But somewhere around here is Xiao Shun as well. She was in the graveyard. Huh? No, I don't feel like fighting you. Over there! There's one of them burning! Here we go. She should be here somewhere. Oh, well, I remember this place. You can probably put away the gun. Shashun, please friend. Staying in the cemetery is not safe. You'll find people like me. People like me who eat rats. For blood. That's I can't nuts. believe I'm doing this. There's no downside to doing it though. In um in Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, if you played Ventru, you couldn't eat from rats. There you are, hello. Are you alright, Miss Shun? My name is Xiao Shun. This is the proper way to address someone in my country. I do apologize, Xiao Shun. Are you alright? Yes, I am. This is the only place where I can find some kind of serenity. Some way to remember my dear Matthew. You're down. First you of all, I don't feel good, Dr. Reed. Not at all. Well, have you some should recover quickly after taking this. Thank you, Doctor. You just had a cold. All right, well, How okay, so let's Spanish talk to her. situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? My only relief is that my Matthew died before seeing the madness that approaches. I'm afraid we won't survive this trial, Dr. Reed. We may not. Tell me how your husband died, Xiao Shu. Matthew died of the Spanish flu, like so many others. It's a mundane cause of death these days. But for me, it meant the end of the world. At this time, there is so little medical science can do to defeat this terrible epidemic. I'm truly sorry. The worst thing is not his death, even if it tears me apart. The worst is not to have seen it coming. To have lost him so quickly, even before realizing it. Did he hide his condition from you? Matthew was a smiling type, a happy sort. Everything that I am not. 
Did he laugh at his death to come? Or did he not realize what was going to happen? I'll never know. Are you on your own? Do you have any friends or family who you could be with? I have family and friends, but I need to be here alone. One day maybe I'll go back to them, but not now. I need silence, and I need sadness. So the inherent problem I have when talking to someone and then l asking them question after question after question to find out their entire backstory is that so often it leads nowhere. I don't actually get something. It was kind of like in the beginning, if you remember the, the girl that thought she was a vampire. Like I talked to her a bunch and then eventually the quest that was, oh shit, Pruin is trying to hunt her down. So it felt like it led to a side quest. But with so many other characters I've talked to, I just talk to them a bunch and then no side quest. It's it's just like the reward for talking to them is just hearing more about them. And there's nothing I can do. It's a bit annoying. You should not be by yourself. Grief can be a terrible trial. And it's even worse when you're alone. Thank you for your sincere words, Dr. Reed. I sense you trying to help me, even if I don't quite understand why. The Spanish flu may be the worst disease mankind has ever faced. Why are you blaming yourself? You don't understand. I didn't know he was so sick. I didn't realize the gravity of his situation until it was too late. As harsh as this sounds, we are all equally vulnerable to this awful disease. It can take the strongest man in just a couple of days. I never said goodbye to Matthew. We never realized how bad it was. We laughed about it even. He always made me laugh. Now I don't have enough tears to shed. Oh shit. Are you a doctor yourself? Is this why you feel so guilty for not saving your sick husband? No, I am not. But I still need to blame someone for Matthew's death. And who else, if not his wife, who did not see it coming? I'm a physician. One of the best in the country. But I was unable to save my own sister, Mary. She died in my arms. Why tell me this? Is it supposed to make me feel better? She will rest in this cemetery forever. And I'll spend eternity hoping that she can forgive me. May I ask what caused the death of your sister? You could say she was also killed by a terrible disease. A disease I have sworn to fight and cure, no matter how long it takes. Thank you for sharing that with me, Dr. Reed. Maybe it's time we start to rebuild our lives, you and I. You realize you can't stay here forever, don't you? Eventually, you'll have to leave the cemetery. Why? Why should I go? Since this is the only place I can find peace of mind. But you're not dead. There is a difference between visiting the dead and staying with them. You sound like you're no stranger to the pain I feel. Let's just say... I too have a good reason to visit cemeteries at night. Let's just Please say I also need blood. Then, Let's just say my teeth are rather sharp now. It's actually pretty alright. You should go home now. I think you're right. Cemeteries are for the dead, for they need silence too. Thank you for your honesty and your wisdom, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your company, Shaoshun. Take care on the way home. Maybe I'll see you again in Whitechapel. Goodbye for now. Throughout that entire discussion, her name was still listed as Widow in Distress. Goodbye for now. Well, uh, quest done. You know you can trust me. That's something at least. Jesus, I... that's some fast moving. Alright, we're probably gonna have to fight some Praven on the way back. And then... tell you what I'll do, actually. Go ahead and end the video here. And then I'll run that's around and cure right, everyone. Sir. And we'll get right back into it, once we actually have some important stuff to do. I'll see you then.
This is my territory! Ah! You cannot win this! Well, at least I found my way back to Mason. That's something. If he's still alive. I hope so. I should have the power to, like, make him open the door now, though. Good evening, sir. It's me again. Leave me alone, I say, whoever you are. Let it me in. It cannot be safe for a blind man to live here alone. Let me enter, sir. I swear, I mean you no harm. Well, a voice never lies, and yours clearly is the voice of a gentleman. All right, Doctor, come on in. Great what success. Kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour. I do. And first, let me plunder your hose. Ho hose? Home slash house. Vampires feed on your souls. No, we don't. Goddamn. Religious crazy people. Wandering in this part of town at night, you're either brave or a fool. It's funny, generally how it works in, in vampire stories, right? Religious it's people are like either it. usually quite crazy and cause problems, or they're the only things that can defeat vampires. Sometimes both. So what is the name of my nocturnal visitor? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. As I already explained to you, I'm inquiring about the epidemic. Dr. Reed? The eminent surgeon? My god! I'd never have expected a brilliant physician like you to knock on my door. You flatter me, sir. No, sir, I am flattered. I read all your work when I still had my sight. I loved it. I'm Mason Swanborough, by the way. Uh, number one, if you knew my name, why didn't you let me in when I introduced myself and said who I was? I'm pretty sure I did. Number two, I, I guess I'm just gonna ask more questions. Do you know Braille, Mr. Swanborough? I'm no expert, but I learned it in my spare time, yes. Why? I found a strange document entitled Cure for Blindness. It's written in Braille, so I thought perhaps it was yours. Really? Is that some kind of sick joke? Let me see. Here it is. This letter seems authentic. And it actually refers to an experimental cure for blindness. You have piqued my interest, Dr. Reed. Could it be of any use to you? No. This page is just a part of a larger diary. I'd be glad if you could find the other pages. I'll try. Right, let's ask some questions. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? I hear them hissing and scratching at my door every night. The sick made mad by the fever. But these walls are thick, and my lock is solid. And what else have you learned about me, Mr. Swanborough? I know you assisted Professor Carell in France, and that you invented a new blood transfusion method based on his work. Yes. Those were frustrating but exciting days. I loved it. Yes, the thrill of research and discovery. This is what drives people like us, Dr. Reed. Oh, how I envy you. Does someone take care of you in this isolated place? My sister Loretta and I have our daily routine. Every morning and evening she comes by so we can talk and eat. Then she leaves and I stay. Do you not appreciate your sister's visit? Loretta is the best and worst thing that happened to me, and I believe she could say the same thing about me. Where does your sister go? Well, let's just say, she earns enough money for us both. What's yeah. so amusing about that? Selling the I won't hide the truth from you. Loretta sells a fake miracle elixir to the sick people of Whitechapel. That's not so cool, but now I can go confront her with that. No, and I can't talk to anything more. Really? Really, I have no other things to ask him about? Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. Sometimes it's weird, the, the hints required. Tell me, how do you see the world these days? Oh shit. He lost her, his sight because of her. Oh, 
Oh man. She's not heartless. And she earns what money she can. Mason lives so far like he lives so far away from my chapel. I had to look it up on a map to find him. Okay, well back to talk to Loretta, I guess. The thing is, I'm only halfway through my busy work, so I still have to go all the way back to Pembroke and sort those people out. But everyone in Whitechapel is cured now. And we got some something to talk to Loretta about, so... Wait, I forgot to cure... Mm, cure Mason. I have the cure for him. God damn it. Thank God for the dash. Alright, Mason. Before I go, I'm gonna cure you of your neuralgia. I don't know what neuralgia is. That's Let me in, friend. Bad. Good evening, Mr. Swanra. Is it you, Dr. Reed? Please, come in. What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour? I do. What can I do? You seem unwell, sir. Do you need my assistance? Actually, I feel worse than usual. Can you give me something? Yes, here you go. Yes. I can give you a little something that has been proven effective. Thank you, Doctor. Great success. Goodbye, Mr. That means finally all of, all of the Whitechapel people are cured. I need to maybe hunt down Louise in West End. Otherwise, it's time to go back to Pembroke Hospital. Tell me. How do you see the world these days? Through blood-soaked eyes. Okay. Back to chat with Loretta and after Pembroke. And then maybe, maybe eventually, some actual story. Hello, Loretta. Good evening, my dear colleague. Yeah. About that. Loretta. Your miraculous formula wouldn't even cure a common cold, and you know it. The Swanborough's cordial secret ingredient is hope, Doctor. And it's something people around here really need. A placebo effect is real and has benefit. But in your case, you could be murdering your customers who may die because they are not receiving the necessary medical attention. Medical attention? In Whitechapel? Trust me, my cordial is the best option they have, since it is the only one. It's not, though, because Dorothy's here, Pembroke Hospital is here. If your true purpose was to help, you wouldn't take money from the poor for your snake oil. Oh, but to pay for it is part of the process, Doctor. If it were free, they wouldn't believe in it. Loretta, why do you feel so guilty about your brother? I don't expect him to forgive me. All I can do is make amends for what I did. By making him a crook and a criminal. What if somebody decides to make him pay for your scam? Mason is totally capable of defending himself. Just leave us be. We're perfectly fine. You don't exactly sound like you're perfectly fine. Don't you think he needs to be somewhere he can receive appropriate medical care? Mason wants to be useful. Can you understand that? And chemistry is his passion, and the Swanborough Cordial gives him a purpose in life. How is it a purpose? There's nothing- you don't- you can't do anything with it. Goodbye, Miss Swanborough. Perhaps we'll talk again. It's- it's basically- it's basically just water. You're just giving people sugar water and saying this will cure you. How is that purpose for an accomplished chem chemist? Ah, uh, well. And then, hint received and nothing to follow up. It's like, well, like in, I guess I get more XP when I drink you now, but that's it. It's a won it's a really wonky system, honestly. All the good boys join the army and the scam turn But anyway. Time for more busy work. See you soon.
Well, I've cured everyone, and we're here. Might be timed. I think this is at least where we need to go. I'm not sure if I should go in or if I should wait and level up first. I feel like maybe I should level up first. 